What's up, Internet? Thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to be going over uh, something that is absolutely critical uh, when you get ready for a winter ski or snowboarding season. Uh, winter is almost upon us, and so I thought I would just take a couple of minutes to review uh, some of the different options for wrist protection. Uh, a lot of people, they kind of, uh, they aren't really sure what to do with wrist protection. Um, it, it's actually quite obvious. They, you know, they say, okay, yeah, I've got my helmet, I've got my goggles, uh, boots, you know, a pad of shorts. Um, but I always catch myself with my wrists whenever I go down. Um, and that, you know, the injuries there can range anywhere from, uh, you know, bruised palms all the way to uh, fractures or even breaks. Um, but the problem is a lot of these wrist guards uh, don't exactly fit under gloves or are not designed for winter sports. Uh, luckily, there actually are quite a few options out, out there. Uh, and so I thought I'd just review some of those with you today. Uh, first, I wanted to show you this one all the way on my left. Uh, this is the, the Demon uh, Snow Wrist Guard. Um, it's a very simple design, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. Uh, let me start with the splint. Uh, it's on the bottom of the, of the palm, um, and it runs all the way until about, um, right about where my wrist, uh, right about where my watch, I mean, uh, hits. Uh, it's made of very breathable uh, neoprene, which is obviously also uh, waterproof. You don't have to worry about this thing getting moldy or rank on you at all. Um, and it fits just fine underneath a glove. Obviously without a hand in there, that's a little bit exaggerated. Um, but you can tell that there's really not a whole lot of thickness to that. So you might need to get you know, a half size bigger on your gloves um, in order for this to work. But either way, um, it's an excellent uh, starter pad um, if you're you know, concerned about uh, about injury and want to prevent it from happening in the future. Um, next up, we've got the uh, Burton Impact Wrist Guards. Uh, these are an excellent little wrist guard um, for a lot of different reasons. Um, they improve upon the design of the Demon in one significant way. They are double-sided. There are splints on the top and splints on the bottom, as well as a, a nice little soft pad there. Um, again, as you can see, extremely low profile, uh, very secure with a double strap system. Um, and it's going to obviously fit under just about any glove. Um, and as with any of these uh, extra wrist guard options, you might want to consider getting a, a glove that's maybe a half size bigger or, or even a full size bigger just to be safe. Um, my motto is it's always easier to make something fit smaller than it is to make it fit larger. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for these uh, extra pieces. Uh, one last uh, wrist guard that I wanted to go over is the Dock Meter Flex Meter. Now, what I'm holding is a small, single-sided. Um, obviously, these uh, come in small, medium, large, as well as a double-sided version. Now, let me go over the differences real quick. Uh, this red piece is the top of the hand. Uh, as you can see, this is a, a small, um, really kind of meant for a child, but it goes really far up on the wrist. If the thumb's here, that's pretty far. Um, the double-sided version has the exact same piece on the top, but it also has an interior splint on the bottom as well as a, another puck uh, to prevent uh, injuries just from straight impact to the palm. Um, this is another very low-profile one, very flexible. Um, it's got a joint in there that you can see. You barely know that you're wearing this thing. That's the main benefit of this, um, but I also highly recommend it to people who have wrist injuries uh, from the past. Um, because it goes so far up, you aren't going to have to worry about hyperextension. You aren't going to have to worry about uh, impact, and you're really not going to have to worry about refracturing uh, a break from the past. Um, now, a great thing about this wrist guard is that uh, Flex Meter has also built that into a glove, which you can see here. This is the double-sided version. So uh, once again, you see just in this little window the flexible part of the top splint, uh, and although you can't see it here, uh, there's another splint that runs parallel to it on the inside of the palm. They also make this in a mitten. Um, also, one other thing worth mentioning, uh, FlexMeter has done something very cool for the first time. Uh, they have made both of these units available separately. So, if you say, well, I want the protection that FlexMeter has to offer, I also like the style of their gloves, uh, but they don't fit right, the wrist guard is perfect, but the glove is too small, or vice versa, you can buy them separately. Uh, in, in our store for the first time this year. So make sure you check those out. One last one I wanted to go over just because uh, I know that a lot of people out there prefer mittens. Um, this is the uh, Burn Durden uh, mitten. 
Um, this green piece that you can see here is the splint. Um, and I really like this for a couple of different reasons. First off, you know, Burn, they've been involved in winter sports for, for a very long time. Um, but secondly, uh, as you can see here, you've got a lot of really good grip. This is a very waterproofed uh, material and uh, it fits like a glove, so to speak, even though it's a mitten. Um, but the main thing that I like about these gloves is the security. It has not one, not two, but three different straps for full adjustability. So you don't have to worry about the, the glove slipping or the guard slipping within the glove. Uh, and, and it's going to fit you perfectly every single time you put it on. Uh, this also comes in a glove. Uh, it's called the Burn Tyler. You can check that out in our store as well. Um, and it's an excellent option if you just uh, you know want an all-in-one piece. Um, of course, there are a lot more options out there. Um, Demon also makes a, a very flexible double-sided wrist guard. Um, there, there are a lot of ones that you can use that are, are traditionally meant for skateboarding or, or uh, inline skating. Um, it's just all about making sure that it fits under your glove and that it's comfortable. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good winter and uh, stay safe out there.